Hey everyone, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener and I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight with that melon outside. So, at least not in the way that it is. I, I, I know the flies and other things at night will get to it. So, I didn't give it a slip test. The slip test is when you just gently push along the stem and see if it separates from the cantaloupe easy. So I'm gonna go back outside. I'm gonna give it a quick slip test. If it comes off, we're gonna harvest it. So he slipped from the vine pretty easy. This is the one that has the damage. And you can see in here, he looks like his fruit is probably orange. It's not quite the color I want, but it's close. When I push on the, the other side, it gives a little bit. So I'm thinking he's probably pretty ripe at this point, and I'm willing to cut him open. Let's go ahead and give him a slice here and see what he looks like. Uh, yeah, I'll slice him this way, I believe. <sighs> Let's see what he comes out like, guys. Wow. <laughs> that is a lot of flesh. Look at this nice little uh, seed pocket in the middle of these. Wow. Smells fantastic. Looks like, yeah. Smells really good, guys. You can see here how much flesh is along this wall. The seeds are in the middle, probably about two or three inches around. A lot more than you'd get from a store-bought one for sure. And for fun, I'll get them weighed up real quick. Put them on the scale, and it looks like three pounds, five ounces. Okay. I think I'll get a seed bowl here and the first step I'll do is I'll scrape out all the seeds. It's always a good idea that when you grow your own fruit, you save seeds from it. And since there's a ton of seeds in here, ton of juice in here, I'm going to make sure that I get all the seeds out because even in this kind of cantaloupe, guys, a big portion of these seeds will not be very viable. And when I'm separating the seeds from the pulp, I'll be able to tell which ones aren't viable by which ones float. Okay, now that I've got all the seeds out, it's time to slice it up. So I'll save you my eating sound effects and just voice over this, guys, but this is incredible. It's so wow. good. I can't believe it. I'm gonna have to give this guy a thumbs up. So this is where the wound was. I pulled the wound off just because I didn't want it to get any worse. But guys, look at the juice just dripping out of this thing. It's absolutely incredibly juicy. I'm so excited. I'm also really excited that I have a lot of seeds here now. Obviously, I'll have to clean the pulp off and uh, get them dried out and bagged up and get those ready to be planted next year. So yeah, not a bad take of cantaloupe seeds from that first cantaloupe. Okay, everyone, we've got one harvested and one to go. Time to give the uh, original one the slip test. Now that the cantaloupe is dying, guys, and you saw how juicy that other one was, I figure it's probably time to pull this guy off as well. You can tell, first of all, the plant's just about dead, but you can tell by the stem here, it's dried up. This thing will come off fairly easy. The casing is starting to slip as well. So I'm probably just gonna have to just let this guy fall into my hand here, but I wanna be careful. See if I can, yep, the, the stem slipped off. Really easy, really easy. Bring this guy in and wash him up and see how he comes out. Looks like we might have a some kind of coloring here. I don't know if that's the rind or what, but let me get him inside, wash him off, see what he looks like. He looks pretty good. It does have some discoloring up here. And honestly, it looks like this part didn't grow a thick coating. Hopefully he's still good, he feels good, he smells good, and he's bigger than the other one because he's four pounds instead of three pounds, five ounces. So that makes me happy as well. I'm not gonna leave them on the counter for about a day and then I'm gonna leave them in the fridge for a day and then we'll cut them open and uh, give them a taste test as well. Well, it's been a couple of days since I pulled this cantaloupe off the uh, vine. You can see that it has the lines on it unlike the other cantaloupe. I don't know if it's ripe guys, but the vine was dead. I needed to pull it off. Judging by this orange spot on this imperfection here in the skin, I think that it is. I left it on the counter for just one day and in the fridge for one day. So we're gonna cut it open and see what we got. Hopefully it's right. Huh. 
<laughs> well, I'd call that pretty dang ripe. But you know what? The last one tasted fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these seeds out and give it a taste test for you guys as well. We've got the seeds out of it now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut it in half here. Just like that. We'll take a nice slice off it right here. And we'll give it a taste test. Just wanted to give you guys a good look at how much juice just collects in this from cutting it. It's absolutely crazy. Hey, you have it everyone. Cantaloupe's grown from seed. Really strong cantaloupe smell. It smells really great. Mm. It's actually very ripe. It's not mushy, it's pretty crunchy. It's fantastic. If you enjoyed the cantaloupe grown from seed series, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Mm.